This is a review of the TP-Link AC1200 gigabit Wi-Fi router. This works great with Spectrum. You can get it for about 50 bucks. It's on sale now on Amazon. It's 19% off. I've been using this for a little while and it's been great. I haven't had any problems out of it and that's a big thing. One of the things that you might like about this is on the back you'll see it has four, see on the yellow, it has four gigabit ethernet ports. A lot of these that you find in this price range, they're only 100 megabits. So you have four dedicated ethernet ports and then you'll have your modem port over here. One of the things I like about this also is it stays cool. Some of the Wi-Fi routers, they get real hot. I don't think that's good for them. It has four antennas. It's a sleek design. It has LEDs on the front and you can see it has power. It's showing you that the Wi-Fi is available. Ethernet ports are available. So if you see all green, you know you're good. If you have Spectrum or one of the other internet providers, a lot of times they will give you the modem free it comes with the service but then they'll also if you want to pay seven to ten dollars a month they'll give you a Wi-Fi router which is good because they can figure it you don't have to worry about it everything works and when I originally a long time ago started with Spectrum I got a D-Link Wi-Fi router and I seem to have a lot of issues out of that router and the Spectrum modem anytime the modem would go down it would lose contact with the router, I'd have to restart the router, then sometimes I'd have to log into the router and change the IP address. It was a mess. So after that happened, I started paying the monthly fee to Spectrum to rent their router. Well, the last time I moved and got new service with Spectrum, their router had a lot of problems. Basically the same thing, it would overheat, it would drop signal. If the modem rebooted, then it would lose connection with the router. So I was thinking, man, I'm paying $7 a month. And the reason I was paying the $7 a month because I didn't want to deal with that hassle. Well, so when I moved again here to this new apartment, I decided to get Spectrum, but this time buy my own router. And I'm, and I'm happy to report this router has worked flawlessly. I've been using it for a little while now and haven't had any issues with it. There's quite a few Wi-Fi devices that connect to this, phones, computers, streaming devices and none of them are dropping, even if they're all going at the same time. And some of the reviews on some of the other routers, that's what they had said, is you'd be on a device and it would just drop the signal. But this one so far has been bulletproof and really happy with it. Another thing that you might like about this router is when you hook it up to the modem, on that old D-Link router I had, I had to log into it to the web interface and do a bunch of configuration. On this one, I plugged it in and it immediately started working. I just plugged this blue cable over here on the very back, the modem side right here, into the modem, and it immediately started working. I did go into the web browser and set up a password, but the firewall was already turned on. That's all I had to do, and it was ready to go. If you're looking for a Wi-Fi router to work with your broadband or internet modem, TP-Link AC1200 is a good value. I'll leave a link in the description below to buy this on Amazon. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and I'll be more than glad to try to answer them for you.